people in the comment section asked legitimately why I believed it was a sinister agenda that Harry and Meghan were promoting in their recent TV interview with parents who had lost a son, adolescent boy, to suicide. Now, I'm a bereaved mother myself. I've lost two of my four sons, one at 19 years of age. He contracted acute bacterial endocarditis and his brother passed a few years later at 33 years of age. And it's been a struggle to recover any sense of well-being since their deaths. Now, if I was working in any other sector, non-profit, politics, which I did work in for a number of years, the corporate sector, if I witnessed someone doing what Meghan Markle is doing, inserting herself into a conversation of suicide, of children and adolescents, I would take exception and I would speak out because that's my nature. But I'm here and I'm interested in the royal family specifically, the British royal family. So I make no apologies for speaking my mind about what I perceive to be the motivations of Meghan Markle. Now, she's got form. When she met Harry, it's well known she sought out and found Princess Diana's perfume and she wore it on their first date. Can you believe it? Well, if you want to trauma bond with anyone, that's the way to do it because his public grief of his mother was all out there. And in 2020, the uh, LA National Cemetery was closed down on November the 11th, 2020 in order that Prince Harry and Meghan could pay their respects on Remembrance Day. They wore a poppy, he wore his medals, and uh, the public rightly complained about the, the closure of the cemetery in order for them to get... They had their camera crew with them, so they got their photos. And then in Uvalde, Meghan Markle turned up on her own without Harry, but in 2022... She turns up at the uh, graveside of these deceased children, 19 children, two adults, who tried to preserve and protect the lives of these children that were in their care. And uh, she, had her, so she had her security, she had her camera crew. Good for you. But the, um, the President of the United States and the First Lady hadn't visited. Neither had any um, public ce celebrities. They kept stumm. They said nothing. Yet Meghan Markle turns up at this cemetery taking advantage of the grief, extraordinary grief, of this grieving community. I, there, is no, there are no words to describe what they would have been going through. So, you know, pardon me if I feel very strongly about this, and uh, make my opinion known here on TikTok. Well, it happens to be in the royal community. So big deal. If it were anywhere else, I'd be saying exactly the same thing if someone pulled stunts like this. And to insert her alleged unaliving of herself into a uh, interview where she's seeking to promote a sinister agenda of online censorship and using this issue as a fig leaf for her agenda is extraordinarily, extraordinarily sinister.